Alright, it's Parsifal back, and I've been busy working on, guess what, yes, a uh, skeleton farm. Found this spawner really close to our base, and so I have spent some time getting this ready. And I've got, looks like about a hundred skeletons in here. Hi guys. And we're gonna shut off the skeleton flow. And then we're gonna crush some skeletons. Uh, we're gonna need a stone sword. Unfortunately, I cannot get the timer to work with a one hit takes two so just easier uh, we started at zero XP so let's see how much XP we get uh, eventually I'll get potions and be able to just smash them with a potion of harming but for the time being this is a good way to get XP, and my stone sword is going to be gone very shortly. Um, so you can see they're standing on top of a hopper, so the hopper is what is collecting bones, the arrows, so, and the I've got several enchanted bones, or bones, bows already. Looks like we got some chain mail in there. Sometimes that drops, sometimes it doesn't. Wow. Okay. About half gone. Okay, so the way I set this up originally, I had just a trench that went down, and the problem was the. Uh, Skeletons started shooting each other because they saw me standing here, and if they weren't all compacted into one block, then they start shooting. Which is okay, but then you don't get the XP if you get to a situation where one of the uh, one of the uh, skeletons shoots the other skeleton and they die. Then you've lost that chance for XP. Ah. Huh. I there we go. I was going to say shift click was not working. Okay, guys, let's finish you off, and then I'm going to show you the setup of the system. Uh, it's quite a while to set up. Um, originally, I had the idea that I was going to put them in. Hey, what's up with that, guys? I was going to put them in this one block space, and then I was going to open up a sunlight space that then cooks the skeletons. Um, I tried that, and it, it didn't really work. It was really variable on how much damage they were taking. I just couldn't get it very precise, and they weren't all dying on one hit. Uh, plus, you know, you set them on fire, and then you got to decide, well, how long are they going to burn? And it seemed like not all of them were catching on fire. Hey, nice. Not all of them were were uh, on fire at the, at the same time. Okay, so we had uh, about 100 in there, and we got about 28 XP from that, so nice. Uh, actually, I'm gonna. this is the on-off switch for the lights downstairs. I'm going to turn that off. I'm going to open this up. I'm going to have signs up here eventually. Uh, we'll let those guys that have been gathering in the back fall forward here. And we'll go ahead and toast them as well. Is it just you? Where's all your buddies? Hmm. Interesting. So this is just a crushing mechanism set up with a timer. But I want to show you guys the timer because it's kind of a new design using cal or uh, not cauldron, it's using hoppers. Okay, I think we got everybody out of the way. Uh, check it out. Okay, yep. 
All right, so here's where all, all our stuff goes. You can see we got a ton of bows. Uh, we got some golden leggings. I actually got a decent chainmail helmet out of the deal. Looking nice. Very stylish. Uh, so, okay, so here are my switches. This is the crusher. It's uh, hooked up to a pulse extender, the tire, which I'm going to show you guys in a minute. This is the on-off switch for the lights downstairs where the skeleton spawner is located. And this is just a shut-off. Uh, you can see it real quick here. It just hooks up to a piston up here. It shuts off the water flow and prevents any uh, you know, skeletons caught in between here and there so you don't have guys that aren't ready for a uh, one-hit kill. Uh, actually, probably just best to go down this way. You can tell I've got a little elevator, water elevator. Whoops. Go on, go down. There we go. Uh, it goes down here to our skeleton spawner, which is here. Ta da! Okay, so this is a 9x9 nine nine room. And it's really hard to swim out of here. We got four redstone lights on center with the spawner. Uh, we have the water all flowing this way to a trench. Water bucket here and a water bucket there. We'll put you into the middle. The skeletons come up here, start jumping, and up they go. Okay? So, pretty simple design, some, something that's been done hundreds of times, I'm sure. Uh, the on-off switch for the lights, that's just hooked up back here. Uh, if I can get up there. Seriously, I don't know. I mean, maybe better to go up this way. Let's do that. Up we go. Skeletons come out here. Okay. Uh, there's a... the piston is just behind here. And let's actually go back there. I'll show you guys what is back here uh, okay so here's what we got whoops uh, this is the s just a repeater hooked up to the switch that goes down this this wire goes down to you can kinda see it looping down there to the lights okay this is the repeater hooked up to the switch that then is hooked up to the water flow. Uh, it just goes down here to the piston right up here. This is the piston that's open, or and well, actually it's on and it's closing off the water flow. All right. Then this is our crusher. It's two pistons, basically. Very simple redstone up to a half slab, which powers the top piston. Repeater down at the bottom, which powers this piston. A uh, pretty simple way of powering two pistons, one on top of the other. Then we have this. This is our timer. This design came from uh, Codecrafted. It's actually a take on Ethos Hopper Timer. Uh, really simple, compact, and sure beats having like 15 repeaters lined up to extend a pulse um, on it like a monostable circuit. So this is a lot lot easier. Okay, so here's our our button is down here. Push. Then it turns this signal actually on, uh, which then powers this piston, which pushes the redstone block over. And what is the key here is, voila, there are things in the hopper. Okay, so what happens is, let's just take this out of here. Okay, and then let's put it back in. Okay, so the items start transferring to this hopper. Then they go back. Okay. And the whole time, that stays on. I don't know if you can see that or not. Uh, I think I can... Can I get rid of this? Yeah, okay. So let's actually just try it because that's what, when you push the button, that's what's happening. 
Okay, so you can see this is on, and it's going to stay on until the items get transferred back. On, 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 then it goes off. Okay, so that's what's powering our crusher. Okay, so that's the setup. Uh, pretty simple and a great way to get XP and a great way to get lots of arrows. So, you know, I was actually thinking about enchanting a bow, but I decided against that because I can get so many arrows over here. You know, really the best, you know, you get power bow, power one. I've got two power ones here. But getting infinity on a bow is not a big deal anymore because I'm going to have hundreds and hundreds of arrows before long. So, you know, this is the, the setup. I'm going to put some signs up here and, and pretty this place up a little bit. Uh, and I will probably, well, why don't I just, it's at night. I can go up and show you. And it's still raining. It's crazy. Uh, let's get our good sword back. Actually, I have Feather Falling I'm going to put on Diamond Boots that I'm pretty happy about. Uh, and I'm going to make this stairway nicer as well. Yes, yeah, so you can see Home is over there. And this is right over here. So I was very happy that I found, found that when I did. And our cow farm, which we're going to need lots of leather for all of our items, our uh, item placards. Um, we've got more. We've got a lot over here. I need to kill some and rebreed some as well. Uh, let's go ahead before we sign off for the day. I want to go over here and put my uh, enchanted book on my boots. I've been enchanting books lately because I figure I can get a lot of XP and just use the anvil to put stuff together. So let's put these in, put our book in, uh, Feather Falling 4, looks good. Yes, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, and then I saw uh, another good idea. I think an enchantment level of 5 on a book is a good way to get unbreaking. And so, actually, let's sleep so we can get rid of this blasted rain. Okay, and actually we can get rid of this. Uh, so that's, uh, we can actually, you know, I'm not sure exactly, we can try to enchant some books. Probably not going to mess with that right now. Uh, I haven't shown you down here, uh, simple farm, not much going on down here. Uh, probably going to have a s separate building for farming. And I don't think I have showed you the enchanting, or not the enchanting, the portal room, which is over here. Uh, I built this. Everything's going to have um, this kind of sandstone look. So we got this, got this a little bit smaller, just because it's holding the pol portal and, and nothing else. Uh, so use the blue and light blue clay blocks. This is quartz up there. Uh, I might do quartz around the bottom and like lower this floor one more block. Let's, uh, hey, let's check out these feather falling boots. Let's see how this works here. Hey. Oh, ho, ho. So, oh, lag. I was going to say I didn't take any damage from that. <laughs> Gotta love feather falling boots. Uh, okay, let's hop up here. I want to show you the bridge here. Look, like we got company down here. Where are you, buddy? Ugh. I don't have my arrow either. All right, you you hang out there just for a minute. Let me uh, eat something, and then we'll take care of you. So one of the bad things about living in 
a woods, things survive in the daylight. Alright, so here is the bridge. Kind of like the look of it. And I think I'm going to have some other bridges to different areas. And eventually we'll probably build something over there. Probably going to have a staircase of some some type coming down from up here as well. Because right now it's a real pain <laughs> to get up there. Kind of got to come over here. Then go up this way. And then over here. Yeah, you see what I'm saying. So that will be in the works as well. Okay. Uh, well, that's it for today. You know, I hope the uh, the skeleton pus spawner makes sense. Uh, if you got any questions about it, post them in the comments. Be happy to to answer them. And also, if you got thoughts on on making things better always open to suggestions. So take care. Have a great day. See you later. Bye.